Alrighty then, exploiting path delimiters for web cache deception. In the article, there's a little bit of read over, and essentially frameworks use different delimiters, which just means they want to pass data to the back end uh, for various reasons. But uh, static files, the cache might catch them. So CSS, JavaScript, stuff like that. So let's have a look and see if we can. Uh, I've loaded the lab. And here we go. Cool. So if we're down here. Obviously, that's what we're after. So if we go up here and we add in the end, same as before. Expecting a 404. Cool. So if we send that to repeater and we send it again just to get a response. Uh, so, you know, hit on the cache, but it's a 404 page, so there's nothing much useful there. So, if we send this to Intruder, I think it's called, and then in here, yeah. So, what I want to do is add in a variable here, and then payloads here. For the payloads, they've a word list, delimiter list, I guess. So I'm going to highlight this because I think I know which sort of ones they are and the reason will become obvious. I don't want it taking ages. So paste them in. And this is important. We don't want to encode the characters. We want these, not the encoded versions. So we select that and then start. And here's the reason. I didn't want the whole list, but we're looking for 200, which we see some there. So if we send them to repeater, like so, and we don't we don't care about that anymore. If we go to repeater, we should have two extra. So we've got here the question mark. Let's have a look, and notice the no cache. So if we send the second one, we should have a cache. Uh, where are we? Hit. Cool. So what we want now is we want to copy the URL, and we want to go back to here. And we want to go back and then we want to go to the exploit server. And same as the last time, we just want a little uh, window.location tab. Paste that in and then close it. I might change that because I think, what is it? What are we on? Let's have a look. Yeah, like 30 seconds, just in case. Three. So the delimiter. And then because it's .js, it will cache it. So if we go deliver that, and we go to the URL, and that isn't right because I changed the uh, that to one two three. That was our old file. There we go. We want to submit that solution. Cool. 